This is a demonstration tutorial explaining the integration process of Express Entry and Symmetry by AMAG. Right now I have a brand new installation of Express Entry here, and I have Symmetry Professional Edition in running in the back there. These are actually on two different machines. The Express Entry installation is on my local, and Symmetry is running on a virtual machine on our network. A little background, the integration itself has a couple of prerequisites on the AMEG side. Number one, if it is Symmetry 8.1, it requires additional installation of Advanced Reporting Server, and that is a installer provided by AMEG. But anything newer than 8.1, the database views created by Advanced Reporting Server are included in the full installation. So on this version of AMEG 9.3, they're included by default upon installation. Second one is you need the Data Connect license, and that's provided by AMAG. So you'll need a license for Data Connect, which allows you to push card scans from Express Entry to, to Symmetry. So in this instance of Symmetry, I have six card holders. I have pre-created a few readers that will represent the handheld devices within Express Entry. To create a reader, we create what we call pseudo-readers. They're not physically tied in, but a handheld can represent any reader within Symmetry. To create them, you can do it off of an existing LAN chain, or you can create readers based off of existing chain. From there, you would add a, a node. This one is already pre-created, but it is a, I just named it the Tolaris node. And on this node, I have created four readers. A reader for entry and exit, essentially as if you had a door for entry and exit, reader one and reader two. Both of them have an entry and exit reader. In Express Entry, a handheld can represent an entry and an exit reader as it has each handheld has two modes, entry mode and exit mode. So you do need two readers in symmetry for each handheld if you want to do entry and exit from a handheld device. If a handheld is only going to be entering people into a, an area, then you only need a single reader in your symmetry system. So the first thing we're going to do, we are going to configure Express Entry to pull data from Symmetry. There is not a whole lot of magic involved in this. The way in which Express Entry pulls data from Symmetry is Express Entry has timers. So we're going to go to the Data Manager section in the settings. We're going to select Enable the Data Manager and select AMAG as our integration type. Express Entry has timers that are used to pull data from Symmetry on an interval, and the way in which Express Entry pulls data is it does it through a database integration. It pulls through the Symmetry database views. So we're going to go ahead and set up that location. I have it written down. This is the database that Symmetry is installed on. That's what it looks like on our network. Of course, for you, for anybody else, it's going to be the connection string of the Symmetry database. We'll do a test connect just to make sure it says successfully connected. There are several other options that can be selected. This is the table that we're going to pull users from. Sorry, not the table, the database view that will pull users. If you have custom information that needs to be pulled out of your symmetry system, you can create a custom view. We need to select the correct edition. For us, we're syncing with symmetry 9.3. It's covered under symmetry or professional 9. And we're going to go ahead and save and close. We're going to save those settings. And now we're ready to sync. If you're familiar with Express Entry, you know that there are several or four different sync types. We're going to start with a full sync that's going to pull all information from Symmetry into Express Entry. See a whole host of logs come through. And so it's completed. Of course, this is a small system, but you're going to see all of the users from the Symmetry system are now in Express Entry. It pulls their picture, it pulls their name, and their card number. Those are the main three things, as well as Actually, it pulls a bunch more. It pulls their access permissions as well. So if we can go here, we could see what access permission each of these people have. So, well, Sarah and Stephanie don't have any access. Looks like Amy has two access, as direct access to two readers, and reader one entry, all hours, reader one exit, all hours, whereas Bo has all access, the all access group from Symmetry. After syncing, there is one additional step in integration that we have to do. We need to create a door in Express Entry for each of the sets of readers. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Door 1. It's going to go outside to building. 
external entry reader. So this is what we're doing here is we're mapping the readers in Express Entry to the reader in Symmetry. Just reader one entry, one reader one exit. Okay, door two. Reader two entry, reader two exit. You only have to do this for readers in Symmetry that are either representative of a handheld or readers that will be used for mustering. You don't have to do every single reader in your AMAG system. I know that could be hundreds of readers. Only readers in Symmetry that provide pertinent information for mustering, and we'll, we'll go over that in a minute. But the first case that we want to show you here is how to use Express Entry handhelds for entry exit and push that information back to Symmetry. So we've created these two doors and I have a handheld device here. All right, so we have our handheld here, which we have synced with our Express Entry server, now has all of our AMAG data on it. If I scan Bo, he had the all access group, so he is granted access. Keep in mind we have door one selected. This is the door that we just created that's showing here as an entry and an exit reader. The activities come into Express Entry and are immediately transmitted to symmetry. So what we should see here, if we look at the activity, in fact, we'll just scan another card so it comes up in our activity view. Push here and within about five seconds, we of course need to push express entry activities to the data manager. So in our AMAG integration setup, we need to have this box checked, which says to push express entry activities to data manager. And if we do that, it will begin sending activities. So Let's scan another card now. And we should see the activity get pushed to symmetry uh, within about five seconds. And if we do exit mode for the same person, we will see this person get exited. There he is. I'm gonna go ahead and show that on the device. If we are in entry mode, let's scan the person. We'll first see that activity record get pushed to Express Entry. That activity is here. And then we'll see it pop up in Symmetry shortly after. And then I'm going to show exit mode. It goes from the handheld, pushes through the server until it makes it to the exit scan in the Symmetry transaction log. And this goes for other card holders as well. Here's Daniel with about five seconds will get pushed to Symmetry, there he is. All access permissions that are configured in Symmetry get pulled from Symmetry to Express Entry and end up getting to the device. Express Entry utilizes either the reader groups that are configured in Symmetry or the access code, which is here. All access, which contains the all readers reader group. Any card holder that has this access group in Symmetry will have the same access on the handheld device because Express Entry handhelds are emulating these reader records. So if the handheld is in entry mode, it is scanning as if it is reader one entry. If the handheld is in exit mode, it is scanning as if it is reader one exit. If I were to change the door in Express Entry on the handheld and I set it to door two, notice it says door two at the top, it will now scan as if it is reader to entry and it'll in entry mode. And if it is an exit mode, it will now scan as reader to exit. This is based on those mappings that we configured earlier. The door maps to the symmetry reader. So from here, scan at reader two or door two. It is scanned as if it is reader to entry. And what we'll see here, not this one, what we'll see in the activity view is reader to entry that last scan that we did because we were at door two. So that is how to configure express entry for entry exit on top of a symmetry system. But the other major feature of express entry is urgency mustering. I mentioned earlier that express entry syncs with symmetry based on you know, using sync timers. And that's because the integration is a database integration where we pull from symmetry database views. As people scan in and out within Symmetry using Symmetry card readers, activities get added to the Multimax database. And we monitor that database to create our occupancy list within Express Entry. So the first thing that needs to be done, we need to enable pulling occupancy from Symmetry. And we should set up a timer. The amount of data that transmits that we are pulling from using this timer is very minimal. 
we usually set this timer to every three to five seconds, depending on the size, because it is only pulling any new information. So we'll go ahead and pull that every three seconds. Additionally, we usually set the full sync, the full data pull from symmetry to, depending on size of the system and how long the sync takes, we could set it anywhere from an hour to just once a day. For this tiny system, I'm just going to go ahead and set it every, every uh, one minute and it will go ahead and automatically pull the data. And then the partial sync is just pulling newly updated card holders. And for this one, we'll go ahead and pull partial information every, let's say, 30 seconds. So now we're going to start seeing these logs doing things automatically. And we are going to start seeing the occupancy in Express Entry updating based on somebody scanning within Symmetry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create card scans within symmetry and what we're going to see is the occupancy and express entry actually update. Here are a few card scans. Do Bruce Carter, he has entered. Sarah Rams has entered. Stephanie Parker has entered and you see in express entry they automatically come into the occupancy list because they have scanned at on the entry side of a door that we had configured. If you have a system in which you are also exiting from the site and you scan out of the building, we can remove people from our occupancy list as well. I'm going to have do a couple exit scans. Bruce Carter is exited. We're going to see Bruce Carter disappear from our occupancy list. Sarah Rams is exited. You'll see Sarah Rams disappear. And Stephanie Parker has exited. We're going to see Stephanie Parker disappear within a couple of seconds. So Express Entry can utilize card scans within the AMEG system to create an occupancy list. So at the time of an evacuation, we know who is in the building with uh, reasonable certainty. Then we can begin scanning people out and marking people as safe. What I'm going to do to show that is I'm going to enable our muster mode with an Express Entry. Okay, so what I'm going to do to emulate this is I'm going to show the muster view. And we're going to do the same thing. It's roughly the same thing as the occupancy view, except this is the actual mode that we utilize when conducting an emergency evacuation. So I'm going to enter a few people. You see that our missing list has added those three people. I'm also going to configure our handheld to be able to utilize the muster mode. And on the handheld device, after we update, we should see a muster mode. We'll make sure that our we are set to muster outside. We're mustering people in the building. So we have our muster list. So using the handheld, we can now begin scanning. Or if somebody has forgotten their badge, we can manually select them or search for them. And what we see on the Express Entry server is we see a number of people who are scanned and a number of people who are still missing. This is all based off of the people who have scanned in using the AMEG readers. At the end of the event, we only have Bruce Carter who has not been found, so now we know that we only need to look for Bruce Carter. And it says what zone he is in. You may have multiple areas or zones which users are badging into throughout your facility, and you can narrow it down where he la this person has last scanned with an AMEG. Express Entry uses sync timers in order to pull new data from Symmetry or changes to data in Symmetry to Express Entry. When somebody creates a card or a card holder in Symmetry, it will pull over at one of these intervals. Now, new card holders get pulled over on the partial sync, which I have set to every 30 seconds. When a full sync hits, it does a full data dump into Express Entry. So it will actually pull your entire user base and compare and make sure there aren't any changes on any table that have been made. And if there are any changes, it will update those tables in Express Entry. So I'm going to create a new card holder. In fact, we're going to make that a little bit smaller. I'm going to make a new card holder here in Symmetry. We're going to call him Albert. And we're going to give him the card, 770, and press Save. And what we're going to see within about the 30 second range is we're going to see a new card holder appear here. But let's go a little further. Let's also we'll give him a picture. We'll import a picture for Albert. Let's go this guy. Perfect.
And what we just saw is Albert appeared here, but no picture yet because I did that after the sync timer hit. So we're going to wait another 30 seconds or so, and then we should see Albert's picture appear. Also notice his badge came across. So now we can begin scanning Albert's badge. Within just a few moments, he should be able to be identified on the handheld. So we're going to go to the handheld device. Let's scan his card. There's Albert, but he was denied. That is because we didn't give him any permissions within Symmetry. Let's go back into Symmetry. Let's give him access. We'll assign him an access code of all access. And we'll save that. And as soon as the partial sync timer comes across again, we should see that his permission, he will have the all access permission. It did, it hit. So now if we scan again, oops, I should have to pull up the handheld again. And he was granted this time. Take that full circle. We'll go back to the activity just to verify if we look at the history of today. And there's Albert. The first time that we tried to scan him, he was denied because he didn't yet have permission. But as soon as we gave him permission and scanned Albert's card, he was granted access. And this concludes our walkthrough of the integration with Express Entry and Symmetry by AMEG. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about our products, please feel free to reach out to us at Tolaris.com. Thank you for watching.